Hi everyone, welcome back to Movies and Us, and in today's video, we're talking about our favourite top 10 possessed, or say killer, killer dolls, dolls, in horror movies. Yeah. So as usual, we're going to start from 10 to 1, so our least favourite to our favourite. Okay, so number 10, um, we've agreed on um, The Boy. And that stars Katie Holmes, doesn't it? I think she was in the second one. Was she in the second I, I, one? I can't remember who was in the... It's been a while. But I do remember the first one being really good. And I don't want to spoil it for anyone if you've never seen The Boy. But basically, it's um, about a, a doll called Brahms. And um, I think that's the name, isn't it? Brahms. Yeah. And basically, they think it's possessed. Uh, strange things are happening in the house. Um, it's not. It doesn't necessarily kill anyone, but you've got to wait to the end for this. I thought it was a great twist. It is quite creepy though, the mm. way because the doll. I think with dolls in general, they are quite frightening. Possessed dolls, yeah. And especially when you see like those porcelain ones, and he is quite like a real life porcelain doll. Yeah. So that was our number ten. Yeah, that was our number ten, and like I said, we don't want to try and ru ruin these films. But if you have seen it, you'll know what we're saying. But the the ending was great. I didn't like The Boy 2 with Katie Holmes, as Danielle was saying. I wasn't very keen on that, but the first one was very good. It is worth watching also. Mm. It's not a small doll. It's kind of like a a three-foot kind of small child-sized doll, so it does kind of frighten you. <laughs> like, this, like this guy, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that was our number 10. And number 9, we've got Dead Silence. Yeah, so this is a personal favourite. I think this was from a, a 2007, a James Wan film. Um, James Wan or James, James Wan? James Wan. <laughs> James Wan. Um, so yeah, wow. um, yeah. Um, starring Ryan Quentin. Quentin is it? Ryan from True Blood. He's, you know, the Australian lad, the blonde. No. Ryan Quentin. He's from True Blood. No, I, my that. mind's gone blank. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he's in. He's in. <laughs> he's in Dead Silence. So the first scene. I don't know how you remember everybody's yeah. names. I'm just yeah. like. <sighs> yeah. So, this is this is from 2007, um, if I remember rightly. Um, another creepy one, just like the boy. The the get this. It, it it reminds me of Slappy the doll from um, Goosebumps, and basically this doll is possessed, and strange things happen when this doll is around. These strange events and killings and gore and all the good stuff but yeah this made number nine on our list yeah number nine, number nine. and number eight so i'm just looking down here <laughs> sorry i had to make a list because i'm very forgetful and um, we've put poltergeist now we did have a bit of a debate over this because i was like poltergeist seems like there's no doll in it and i said that there's a clown doll and it is really frightening and <laughs> scary and you do see them you know at conventions and that don't you um so I said definitely we've got to have the poltergeist clown doll at, at number eight. <clears throat> yeah. Number eight, yeah. Yeah, so I think um, you know, it's with the nostalgia of it as well, isn't it? It's the um the way that um years ago when I watched it when I was a kid, it was the like you said it was a clown doll and it's um, his limbs was very long long. Yeah, so if you've seen Poltergeist, you'll know exactly what we're talking and about. And also, it's quite memorable in Scary Movie because he, <laughs> because he pulls the guy underneath the bed. Yeah, yeah, and you know, if you've seen Scary, that's hilarious. That if you've seen Scary Movie, you you know exactly um, what he does to him under the bed. But he does enjoy it as well, doesn't yeah, he? he? Which does. is even more funnier because he's like he ends up molesting the clown back, doesn't he? Mm. It's hilarious. Yeah. But yeah, that's our number. Eight. eight that was number eight mm. um and also because um the poltergeist movie as well is scary um yeah. so yeah that was number eight number seven we've got megan um megan <laughs> and that's a it's quite a fairly recent film that isn't it she's um yeah. an ai kind of robot and she's it, the like the auntie is taken care of her niece and her parents have died so she's got this robot where she brings it in for company and then she kind of like malfunctions doesn't she and then she is actually like a killer because there's some great 
killer scenes in this film and mm. there's an iconic dance isn't there where she's like yeah. walking down the corridor so yeah definitely I, re- I, I really like that film and we went to cinema to, see, to watch it didn't we so I really enjoyed that film a lot of people were on the fence a lot of people didn't like it but I, I, I really liked it I thought it was good yeah I so, think a lot of people did yeah. as well yeah. and that was number seven so number six do you know what number six is? Or shall I check the list? <laughs> <laughs> I have to check the list. Um, um, oh, yes. So this gets good now. So we've got Demonic Toys as our number six. Um, personal favourite of mine. Yeah. yeah. I love this. So I pushed it further down the list, didn't I, to push some of mine up? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, um, yeah, go on. It's your No, book. no, it's fine. It's, it's, if you've not seen it, it basically it's... Um, these... This is one of the most iconic older films. Isn't mm. it? When was it? When, when was it set? Uh, early nineties. Early nineties. I think yeah, late. Yeah, because I get mixed up with Dynamic Toys and Toys. I think Dynamic Toys was early nineties. I think Toys was late eighties. But um, yeah, this is an easy watch. It's silly, but it's fun. Um, basically, um, it's a toy warehouse, isn't it? It's a toy warehouse. People break in, and I. They, they wish they never broke him because all these like um, the dynamic toys come to life, and he end up, you know, just killing everyone. And and there's some. I just realised how Grace gave us something. It's not like a dynamic toy, but it reminds me of them with the real teeth. Yeah, Sorry, uh, yeah, I've... but yeah. So it's um, it's um, got some great kills in it. It's so silly, but. It's something I could probably watch once a year, just but it's 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 a it's a movie I, I watched a lot uh, as a kid. It's got some great oh, kill scenes in it. Um, some of the characters is in like creative, a toys. Isn't it's it? very with the different creative. types of toys because I said the to Jack you, in the Box is my favourite. Yeah, and yeah. I said that definitely inspired Krampus, Krampus um, yeah. because of the demonic Jack in the Box. Yeah. So yeah, Keep that's um, yeah. Sorry. That was number <laughs> six, um, yeah. and then number five is dolls. Yeah, so this is another favourite of mine. This again, the um, brief plot synopsis on this one. Um, a it's a couple they break down, don't they? They break um, down with the daughter and they try. It's and like find a storm, that. isn't he? In, in, yeah, in, in, and they find this house in the middle of like not like a field, but in the countryside, and they go there to get you know help because the cars broke down. They've got a small girl, and this lovely. Um, unsuspecting old couple invite them in, give them a nice cocoa, and he's a doll maker. Yeah. And um, you're kind of drawn in, and it's got this kind of soft, nice vibe, but then it all turns sinister. And then sinister. All, also <laughs> more people turn up at this house because of this storm and stuff like that, and then there's, there's more victims for these toys. And again, just like Dynamic Toys, some of the, some of the toys in this, you know, some great little characters, some great kills. And uh, very creepy as well in scenes, but again, cheesy fun. And uh, that's why it falls at our number five. 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 And also, um, it's got that kind of like supernatural kind of. Oh, yeah, because they're possessed. The, no, but at the end, oh, though, yeah. it's not just like the possessed by a demon. Yeah, let's not ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> so we'd recommend watching that, as you can tell. You know, we mm. really enjoyed it. Um, we're number four. It's one of my Ooh. favourites, and it Where is, is Pup Master. Oh, here he is. Yeah. Uh, one of our little puppet master. We've got the other guy here. I just think these characters are dead good and I love the way they did it. Was it stop motion how they did it? Probably. That's Pinhead and then um, that's tum- Tumblr. But yeah. If you've seen if you've seen Puppet Master, um late 80s movie, fantastic. Um I used to watch this all the time he, as a kid. Made about Ten of them now, I think. Yeah, I haven't seen them so all. Um, I, I did enjoy the first three. Um, as you can see, some really great cal- characters. Quick plot synopsis. An old guy by the name of Toulon, I think his name is. Um, he's a, Obviously, he's a puppet master. And the beginning's like based in oh. World War Two, I think. Um, uh, the Nazis come over. They've, yeah, they've got a bit of beef with them. <laughs> um, and... He ends up blowing his brains out. These these this these um puppets end up getting shipped off somewhere. They end up in this big hotel on a seafront and basically 
these uh, guests come in and the puppets end up having a field day, uh, you know, taking them out one by one, which is great. Um, again, same as the the previous films, some good characters, some mm. really good gory kills. So it's a, that, actually really nicely told as well, isn't it? Because um, you've got like point of views from the puppets, so the cameras oh, yeah, move yeah. along. So it is a really great, yeah. great film. Um, so and then I'm, we're on our top three now. Yeah. Um, what was number three? Dolly Dearest. Dolly Dearest. So Dolly Dearest, um, I first watched Charles play as a kid and Dolly Dearest come out in 91 um, and I recently watched this beginning of the year, I've got a, a nice Blu-ray and um, it's just like it's just like Charles play but it's a female doll called Dolly and it's, it's a similar plot, she befriends a, a young girl just like isn't she bought as a birthday present am something, i thinking about the yeah. wrong story no it's it's um not not at all no because that's child's play okay <laughs> so um no so this girl she um finds finds this doll where she's she's living and basically befriends the doll just like child's play the doll's an imaginary friend and it goes from there and as you can uh, uh, as you could guess just like child's play dolly starts murdering people <laughs> strange things start happening but yeah that's our number three three coming number in at number two two top is two is annabelle where is she i, I just i disagree with this us. yeah you did but i you've got I but we've got a agree to annabelle. disagree so um but we'll be here all day if we had a top 10 each um so <laughs> mine is annabelle Annab annabelle annabelle annabelle, annabelle, annabelle laughter um, <laughs> I just like the fact that it's based on um, a real story and that's what's most frightening for me. Um, the fact that there is actually a doll in the Warren's house and it's in a box, well, in like a glass box saying positively do not touch. And then they've made the Conjuring films on the back of it and then they've made a couple of extras with yeah. Annabelle telling the story of this um, demonic doll that don't you don't actually see the doll killing anyone um but it's the supernatural aspect that goes with it um so yeah, yeah definitely i would definitely put annabelle as my number one i'm sorry you know my number two um oh yeah would well, you know <laughs> scary dolls yes you you even agreed number two number mm. two okay and then number one this little shithead <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so big fans of chucky um it's always been um, Freddy, Michael, and Chucky for me, um, and just um, it's just it it it's just um, legendary in it. Chucky, you know the, yeah. the, the whole story. You know Charles Lee Ray possessing a doll in Chicago at the beginning, and then um, Andy Barclay's mum, the little boy, um, purchases the doll. Presence. Presence and obviously it becomes just like I spoke about Dolly Dearest becomes his little imaginary friend and yeah he just wants he wants to get out of this doll body. He wants to possess, possess Andy, the, Andy so he can be real. Yeah, and out the full franchise, I'd say Charles Play Two Two is my favourite, um, and I did really like the remake as well. Um, there's some silly ones in the franchise, but... It, yeah, but there's so many films within the Chucky franchise and so many different kills, and he's got yeah, so many different like, little one-liners. Um, great, definitely isn't Definitely, he is the, the uh, most iconic killer doll yeah. Um, and, <clears throat> film. Yeah, so we, in, we, we are soon, definitely, probably after Christmas... We are definitely going to um, watch all the child's plays on our Blu-ray set we've got and we will get around to ranking them if you'd be interested in seeing that. So if you like that top 10 killer dolls um, in horror movies, then um, drop a comment down below, give us a thumbs up. Watch, <laughs> is there any uh, doll possession films that we've never, what we haven't put in the list or we've never heard of? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, definitely. You got anything else to say? No. No? Are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Until the next video, take care and bye for now. I know. <laughs>